everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Welcome back to another episode of Pretty Pastel Parcels. This is episode two. Thank you so much for all of the love on episode one. It was so much fun to film and all of the beautiful things that I got in the mail from fans and from PR and stuff like that. It was just awesome. So I'm really, really excited to be doing episode two. There's a mix of some fan mail and some stuff that I've bought online and some PR in today's episode. And of course, as always, there's Archie. If you're new to my channel and you don't know who Archie is, I mean, look at him, he's a bird. Do you know what birds do? They make noises. Does that annoy you? If you answered yes, you should leave. <laughs> because the bird stays. Are you excited? We've got some fun things to open today, yes? Before I do anything though, I'm going to be announcing the winners of my Harajuku giveaway. Are you just going to sit there? No? Okay. If you watched my Harajuku video, you would have seen that I was giving away a couple of things that I bought while I was in Japan. So if you didn't enter the giveaway, the timestamps are below to skip ahead. But if you did enter, hang around and I'll tell you who the winners are. I have my little basket of goodies here. I'm so sorry that it took so long to get everything ready to announce the winners. It's just, I had a lot of entries and I wanted to make sure that they were all counted. I've basically put everyone's names into five different randomizers that I've got open in different tabs. So I'm just going to hit choose and it's going to pop up with a name and then that person will be the winner. So if you hear your name called, I mean I really don't know how to do this, I'll send you a message on YouTube, you, I think you can still send people messages, and then if you can send me a message and then we can get each other's emails and then we can figure it out from there. So hey don't chew on that, no, no, I'm just gonna put these in a safe place away from Archie. All right, so the first one that I'm going to announce is the Hollow Band-Aids. Now, just a second ago, Archie actually uh, chewed on the box a bit, so um, it's just the tiniest bit damaged. I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind. I mean, the Band-Aids are fine, but there's, there's a bit of some Archie chew marks there. Hey, maybe you can put it on eBay for like $10,000. No, 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 not for you. You're rude. The winner of the Hollow Band-Aids is... Regina Smith. <laughs> Congratulations, Regina Smith. I hope you're a true holosexual at heart because you've just won yourself some hollow band-aids chewed on by Archie. So uh, that immediately brings their value from 500 yen to $500. <laughs> the next winner I'm going to announce is the unicorn purse. <laughs> Ready? What are you doing? I got two. I'm gonna go get the second one. Look what he did. Look what he did to it. He chewed off the top of the unicorn horn. You are such a bastard. Okay, round two. Here's the other one. If you watched the video, you might remember that I got two. So lucky I got two, because uh, otherwise I would have been sending Natasha Lim an amputated unicorn horn. So congratulations, Natasha. You are the winner of the unicorn purse. The next winner that I'm going to announce is for the phone case. Ready? Congratulations, Katie Chiz. You're the winner of the phone case. Now, I hope that you did your research because it's, it's for an iPhone 7 or iPhone 8, so I hope I hope that you actually have one of those and you don't have a 7 Plus and you didn't make the same mistake that I made. Put the band-aids down, bird! No! You're banished. <coughs> Excuse me? The next winner I'm going to announce is for the unicorn socks. Now, whoever's name gets called, tell me which color you want, if you want white or pink, and then I'm gonna keep the other one. <laughs> so the winner of the socks is... Oh my god, their name is literally Awkward Unicorn. 
That's hilarious. Well, awkward unicorn, you've won yourself some awkward unicorn socks. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, tell me which color you want, if you want the white or the pink. And then the grand finale, the one that it seems everyone has been waiting for, the boots. Now, for everyone that was asking, I had a heap of people saying to me they could see these in the background of my videos and they were like, oh my god, where are the boots from? Obviously, those people uh, didn't watch my Harajuku video, but they're from Harajuku. They're from a shop called Bodyline. So, the winner of these boots is... Victoria Copeland. <laughs> Congratulations, Victoria. I really, really, really hope that your feet fit into these because they are very small. So, congratulations. Here's hoping, fingers crossed. So, so congratulations to all of the winners. Just, uh... Hit me up in the DMs. You can either DM me on Instagram or send me a message on YouTube and I will try to message you on YouTube and somehow I'll get your addresses off you and I will uh, get these little pretty pastel parcels sent on their way to you, wherever in the world that you are. Um, I really don't know, Archie. You brought this on yourself. You really did. <laughs> this is no one's fault but your own. No, there's no prizes for you. You can have some almonds. Look, I'll give you an almond if you're a good boy. You, you're literally crushing my eyeball, son. You're crushing my eyeball. Just take one. Take one. Take it now. Take it and leave, please. Almond. You don't want almond? This is why they say don't work with animals. That was rude. Well, if you don't want an almond, what do you want? You, there's no prizes from Japan for you. I'm so, no, there's none. I didn't get you anything. No, there's nothing green. You, just. Did you ruin my makeup? Is my makeup ruined now? You bloody bird, get off. Get off. Go away. Okay guys, thank you so much for entering. I hope that you like the prizes when you get them. So now let's get on with the video. The first thing that I'm going to show you isn't actually necessarily a parcel. It's not something that I got in the mail. It's just something that I bought the other day and I just really, 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 really wanted to share it with you guys. So we have a shop in Australia that's called EB Games and it's basically like your one stop shop for games, anything gaming related. And they have a lot of merch. So I'm always, always going into EB Games and their pop culture store, which is called Zing. And I'm always buying like Pusheen and Pokemon and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys the Pokemon things that I bought the other day. Everything was on sale, so I couldn't help myself. I got this Eevee beanie. Do you see? That was like $5, I think. I got these Jigglypuff socks. They're like tall over the knee socks. I think that they were 10. I got these Eevee socks. These were 12. And they're made of a really, really interesting material. They're like really, really heavy. I'm a little bit of a collector of Pokemon memorabilia and mugs. I absolutely love to collect mugs. So I found these, these were $15. It's a set of Pikachu mugs. So I didn't actually open the box when I was in the shop. I just kind of looked at the picture on the box and I was like, yeah, salt, like looks good enough to me. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing them. So they clink together like that, they fit into each other. Now on that side, you've got Pikachu holding some flowers, and then on the reverse side, Pikachu is holding a love heart. Oh my god, do you see that in the background? Oh, he's come to inspect. Yeah, so one of them is shaped like a crescent moon and the other one is round. And I'm really excited about these. I don't know if I'm actually going to drink from them. No, there's no coffee. Sorry. Utter devastation. <laughs> Utter devastation. Archie absolutely loves coffee. He will not leave me alone in the morning when I have my morning coffee. He comes over and he dunks his head into it every single morning. Birds aren't meant to drink coffee. 
So I let him get as far as maybe like licking the milk on the top, the steamed milk, but that's, that's about it. Look at this, he's trying to get right down in there. There's nothing there, boy, I'm sorry, nothing. So they'll go on my Pokemon shelf. And then the last thing that we got, this was $4. This is a Zelda puzzle. Look, it's really, really big. Like it's a huge puzzle. And it's a really, really beautiful design too. So I'm thinking what we might do once we make it, we might actually frame it and then put it up somewhere. I love Zelda. I absolutely, I've played Zelda my whole life. <laughs> love it. And I think the artwork is really, really beautiful. So that's that one. So that's everything that I got the other day from EB Games. So, <laughs> Next up, I have to thank a subscriber of mine for sending me a message on Instagram and letting me know about this. She, she, Archie, no, 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 no. Now, if you're not Australian, you don't know what Supre is, but for the 5% of my audience that watches this that is Australian, you'll know, you'll remember, I mean, we all, most of us really liked Supre in school. Supre is one of those like cheap stores that always sold like trendy slogan shirts and really, really tiny mini skirts and tank tops. And it's like all the essentials, like the basics and stuff that you need. You know, you could always get a pair of jeans or you could get a skirt or a tank or whatever from Supre. Supre came out with the Hello Kitty collection and I had no idea until one of my followers dropped a comment for me and told me and I freaked out. It was 4 a.m. in the morning. I had just woken up to use the bathroom and then I checked my phone and I saw this comment and I was like... And I jumped up, pulled open my laptop. Daniel was like, oh, oh, turn it off, turn it off. You know, got the light shining in the middle of the room. And I jumped on Supre and I bought just a couple of things. There was a whole bunch of stuff in this collection, but there was only a few things that I thought were really my style. But definitely, if you're in Australia, go check it out. They ship internationally too. So anyway, let's have a look. I'm so excited. It's, oh, look, look at this. It says, you're gonna look good. It, it says it on the bag, you're gonna look good. Well, thank you, Supre. It's Hello Kitty, so of course it's gonna look good. What does this say? Contents 100% major? Majorly addicted to Hello Kitty. That's the first thing. Oh, okay, this is really sweet. So the first thing, now these were pretty cheap too. It's a Hello Kitty top. It's got a little Hello Kitty embroidered on it, just here. It's made of a fluffy, furry material. All right, mate, off you get. I've got to put it on. Have to try it on. Okay, here it is. It's adorable, it's so soft. Sometimes I worry about this furry material, whether it's going to be like an itchy sort of furry material or if it'll be really, really soft, but this is amazing. It's so nice. Okay, this was $40. So $40, that's pricey. For me, because I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty and this is a really, really beautiful color and I know I'm gonna wear this a lot. $40 is totally worth it for me. I'm gonna get a hell of a lot of wear out of this and it's so cute and so soft and so precious. But it is like on the little bit of a pricier end for Supre. The things at Supre aren't normally that expensive, but hey, absolutely love it. Are you right there? Chewing on it isn't gonna make any coffee appear. This one was $25 and it came in three colors. I think it came in gray and red as well. It's just a plain shirt like this and it's got little bows on the sleeves. Here it is. It's got this little Hello Kitty here, and then it's got the bows on the sleeves there. So precious. This one is a very light fabric. It doesn't feel anywhere near as good as that other one. It just feels like maybe something that you throw on underneath something else if you were cold. But I think it's really, really cute. So precious, $25. Okay, and then the only other two things that I got from this collection were socks, I think. Yeah, socks. Okay, so the first pair, they're just pink and they've got Hello Kitty on them. These were, can you hold that? These were, let me see, $5. Totally worth it, $5. They're really, really cute. And then the other pair, the other pair were just plain white, like that. So that's all that I got from this particular collection, but there's heaps and heaps of stuff. Like I'm just having a look now. There's a red Hello Kitty hoodie. There's a stripy t-shirt, 
a grey sweater. It's very, very cute. It's a really cute collection and it's pretty cheap too. The next thing that I got, now I already opened this because it didn't actually say on the outside any information and I was like, what the hell is that? Couldn't figure out what it was, so I opened it. But I, and I took a peek inside, now I know what it is. Lucy, I always talk about Lucy, definitely go check her out on Instagram. She has such a beautiful Instagram and follow her on YouTube too. She makes really, really cute videos. She's got some good Japan vlogs and stuff. So anyway, Lucy, put up a picture on Instagram the other day that she had some cosmetics that NYX Australia sent to her and I'm always constantly stealing all of Lucy's ideas and I feel a bit guilty for it. And I was like, oh, Lucy got some makeup from NYX. Maybe I can ask NYX to send me some makeup. So I sent them an email and I was like, hello, I really like NYX, which I do, I love NYX. Like I buy so much NYX. I always buy it from Target. We have Target in Australia that sells NYX and that's one of the only places you can really buy it unless you get it directly from their website. So anyway, I sent them an email and I was like, oh, hey, like I absolutely love your products. And I saw my friend Lucy was talking about some PR makeup that she got through you guys and I was wondering if you'd like to send me some and they were like hey yeah absolutely I'm so lucky like <laughs> so they said that they would send me a few things to have a look at and review and here's what they've sent me so I have no idea what it is so there's a little card in here and it says dear Alexandra we love your beautiful pastel world keep doing what you're doing and enjoy your new goodies that is so cute thank you so much <laughs> and then there's another card which is, okay, so it's basically like social media rules. So for those of you, if you don't really know much about like how PR works and things like that, often the company will agree to send you products as long as you agree to certain terms. They never ever ask you, they never say like, we're only gonna give you stuff if you give us a good review. I've never once seen a company do that. They, you're never obliged to say anything good about a product that you get in PR, but they do have a couple of like rules and regulations. So on the little card, it just says, if we're giving you products to review, make sure that you use hashtag sample or hashtag freebie, hashtag ad, hashtag collab, hashtag spawn or hashtag promo basically you know like legal requirements if you've got the stuff for free like you have to disclose that you got it for free so it basically just says don't forget to tag it to say that it's an ad or it's a promo or it was free or whatever don't promote anything illegal or violent don't bully or troll just be a polite internet user like don't bully it like they don't want to be associated imagine if if i put up a picture of nyx cosmetics on my instagram or something and then like someone left a comment and then I started bullying that person. Like it's it's not a good sort of association for Nyx to have if there's like bullying or something going on on the post. So it's just like, if you're associating the brand and you, like don't be a dickhead. Keep it real. It says be accurate and realistic. Be authentic and truthful. Don't be misleading. Make it clear if something is your opinion. Don't over exaggerate. So that makes sense. Like. <laughs> That's, I think that's really good. Like, keep it real, be accurate and be realistic. Like, they, they don't want you to pretend that you like something if you don't like it. And I think that's a really, really good thing for a brand to say. So with that being said, let's have a look at what they sent me. Ooh. There's seven things here. So the first things, looks like there's three of them. Oh my God. It's called Holographic Halo. Look at that, Holographic Halo. Is it really hollow? We gotta find out. So it looks like cream eyeliner. Oh, that's cool. Now I can tell you, just by looking at the pictures on the side of the box, it's not hollow. Christine would be mortified. It is most certainly not hollow. Sorry, Nyx, I'm just being honest. But I'm really excited because I love all Nyx eyeliner. I think Nyx eyeliner is fantastic. So we'll have to test this out in a video. Holographic Halo finishing powder. Holographic Halo finishing powder. Hmm. I don't know about holographic again. I mean, you can't really deny that the writing on the packaging is holographic, but the powder doesn't look holographic. So that's something we'll have to test. And then the last two things are, this is called a duochromatic lipstick. Okay, well if it's duochrome, I can understand that. Duochrome and hollow are quite different things. Oh, are you gonna take that? Are you gonna see if it's hollow? Oh, Archie! So I'm, uh, Archie? Can, can I have that back? You know it's not for you. They didn't send it to you. The card says, Dear Alexandra. It doesn't say, Dear Archie. Give it here. No, you, you give that back. So thank you very much, Nyx. Thank you for sending me those things. I'm really excited. I think I might make a video maybe testing those and I'll probably put some posts up on Instagram. So go show Nyx some love and go, go like the photos if I put them up next. This is really exciting. 
My evolution into Kayla Hadlington is almost complete. I saw these on her Instagram page the other day. I freaked out and I thought they looked absolutely beautiful. I contacted the brand and I was like, hey, I saw Kayla Hadlington had these brushes. I was wondering if you would send some to me too because they sent them to her. And I mean, I'm really going out on a limb by doing that. like just contacting brands and being like, I saw that you gave so-and-so that thing, would you maybe give it to me too? Like they could come back and be like, excuse me, <laughs> like who do you think you are? Buy it yourself. But no, they, they were like, oh my God, yeah, we love your account. It's so pretty, we'll send you some. So I'm really, really excited because, oh, I, I literally screamed when I saw these on the website, like absolutely screamed. So this brand is called Cosmic Brushes and they're from England and they had a whole bunch of brushes on their site, but, uh, the name of these brushes, the name just screamed Alex. It had Alex written all over it. Marty, you're not helping. What? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so beautiful. Hang on, let me just let me just open it up. These are handcrafted with love in the UK. So these are actually made in the UK. Each brush is made with synthetic hairs, a magical process and lots of space dust. To get the most out of your new glittery brushes, we recommend you clean them regularly, don't soak them, cruelty free and non-toxic. Okay. Ah, so beautiful. You haven't even seen them yet, have you? Oh, okay, so this collection is called the Pastel Prism Collection. Look at them! Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. <gasps> and the stuff inside actually moves. I didn't think it moved. Oh my, wow, look. Ah, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yes, Archie, it's green. Isn't that cool? Wow. Okay, I don't want him to chew on them, so you can just go over there, please. Look, aren't they amazing? These are literally the prettiest brushes I have ever seen. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am so lucky that this company actually said yes when I contacted them. Like, even if, if they had come back and been like, oh, you know, we're not looking for any more influencers to work with right now, I would have 100% bought these myself. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. The reason that brands are, like, sometimes happy to send things out to influencers for free is because, like, the likelihood that now that I've showed you guys these, I'm sure that some of you will probably go buy these now, like, because I've shown them. So for the brand to, like, give these to me for free, and then some of you guys might buy them, like, that's kind of how it works, you know? It's like, I'll show them in my video and my subscribers value what I have to say. Like, they know that I'm being honest and if I recommend something, then if my subscribers like it, they're likely to buy it. So for them to give these to me for free and then for me to show you guys and then if you guys are like, wow, they're sick and then if you go buy them, it's like, everyone's happy. Oh, actually, wow, look at this. Some of them actually have, oh my gosh. I understand why it said space dust now because some of these, I don't know if you'll be able to see from where you are, but some of them have like stars and little moons and stuff in the glitter. That's really, really cool. Archie, no. Okay, so the Pastel Prism Collection, it's blend and contour. So obviously I haven't tried these. I haven't actually used them yet. I've just opened the packaging, so I can't really tell you how they work as brushes, but they're very, 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 very soft. I can tell you that. So anyway, definitely I'll put the link down below. I don't make any money off it. They just gave them to me for free. Like I don't have an affiliate code or anything for it, but I just think they are the prettiest brushes that I have ever seen. So I'll have to try these out in a video soon. They are 80 Australian dollars, which in US dollars is 60. So 60 US dollars. So I think for five high quality brushes that are really, really pretty and they actually have like liquid and sparkles and stuff floating around in them and they're very, very soft and they're made in the UK, I think $60 is really reasonable for that many. Let me know what you think below though. Like I don't buy very many makeup brushes so I don't really know how much things are meant to cost. Like is that a lot or is that reasonable? I think it's reasonable. Like I was gonna buy them if they didn't gift them to me 100%. I would have just bought them because they are so pretty. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much, Cosmic Brushes. Now, the next things. Have I got a story for you? So, uh, grab some popcorn <laughs> because it's a long one. Last year, I came across a picture on Instagram. I saw those shoes. I screamed. I had no idea where they were from, who made them, how much they cost where to get them, I had no idea. But taking one look at them, I could see they were little twin stars and they were platform shoes. Like obviously, that's what they are. So I Googled little twin stars platform shoes and they popped up immediately and I could see that they were YRU from Dolls Kill. But they were sold out, they were long sold out. 
So immediately I took to eBay, Depop, the Facebook marketplace, everywhere that I could possibly look, I searched and I searched and I searched. <laughs> And I did keep finding them occasionally, but they were never, ever in my size. I could never find them. But what I would always search was, why are you little twin stars? And then one day, honestly, I'm not exaggerating, every night before bed, I would check my Instagram, check my YouTube comments, check my emails, check Depop. I would check to see if these shoes had been listed. And I typed in, why are you little twin stars? And this pair popped up and I was like, wait, what? There's two? It was crazy to me that there was one pair, let alone two. So then I was like, wow, okay, there's a second pair. Oh my goodness. Those ones that I saw weren't in my size either. But then I knew, okay, there's... Can you not? Can you come here? Come here. Almonds. You want almonds? You want almonds? No screaming. So then I kept an eye out for both. And then one day, I found this pair on Depop and I was so excited. They were in America. She was charging, I think $80 for them maybe, I can't remember. But anyway, I was like, yes. And I sent her a message and I said, hey, I've been looking for these for a year and they're in my size. I haven't found them anywhere. Like I'm so excited that you listed them. This is amazing. Could you please ship to Australia? And she was like, oh, uh, I suppose so, but I don't know how much shipping is going to be. I think she said, I can't get to the post office for a few days, so I can't tell you how much shipping will be. So I was like, okay, I'll just pay for them. And then can you let me know how much shipping is? And she said, yes. So I paid her for them. And then a couple of days later, she messaged me and she was like, oh, hi, shipping's going to be $80 to Australia, untracked. And if you want it tracked, it'll be $150 or something like that. And I was like, what? Like the shipping was literally the same price as the shoes. And I wasn't gonna back out because I just, I really wanted them and I'd been looking for so long and I was like, fine, like that's, that's okay. But that's a lot of money. I didn't think it would be that much. Like I thought it would be a bit, but I didn't think it would be that much. So I just said to her, like, I can't pay you right now. Can I pay you when I get paid in a few days? And she said, yes. Now this is where it's my fault because a few days passed and I got paid, but I had other things that I needed to pay for. And I was like, oh, I'll pay her later. I didn't message her or anything. I was just like, oh, I won't send her the money for the shipping yet. Like I, I, need to pay, I need to pay my rent and stuff like that. Dan and I ended up going to Japan and it was just in the back of my mind. Like I didn't forget about it, but I was like, uh, I'll send her the money after Japan because I really need that money while we're in Japan. Now this is where it's my fault, but it's also her fault because I didn't message her to say, oh, I'll pay you next week or I'll pay you in a couple of weeks. Like the last thing that I'd said to her was I'll pay you when I get paid. A couple of weeks went by, we went to Japan, came back from Japan and then I sent her a message. I was like, hey, I'm gonna send you the money today for the shipping. And she goes, oh, well, you never sent me the money, so I sold them to someone else. And I was like, what? Like, okay, I mean, sure, I can empathize, I can understand. I guess for her to see someone say, I'll send you the money for the shipping in a couple of days, and then to not see the money in a couple of days, if it was me, I would have just sent a follow-up message and been like, hey, are you gonna send the money or what? But instead, because she, because she didn't hear from me, she sold them to someone else. I was really upset and I was like, Okay, well, I guess I'm just an idiot. Like, it's my fault. So I said to her, okay, can I have my money back? Archie! Okay, fine. Almond? Fine, you can have one. Take this. Take the almond. Take it. T t what's wrong with you? Are you unwell? Okay. Take it. Take it back to your cage. Anyway, I said to her, okay, fine, like, uh, I understand. Can I have my money back? Like I paid her for the shoes. I paid her 80 or $90 or whatever it was. And she says, no, you can't have the money back and don't message me again. And then she blocked me. I don't, I don't understand. What, what, did that really just happen? What? Hang on, if you're gonna take someone's money for the shoes and then you're gonna sell them to someone else, give them their money back. Like the person has literally given you the money for them. They've paid you for those things. So one, why would you then go sell them to someone else? I mean, she wasn't losing anything by me not giving her the shipping money. I'd literally paid her 
for the shoes up front and then said to her, I'll, I'll pay you for the shipping. And then, yes, I said to her, I'll pay you in a couple of days. And then I didn't send it in a couple of days, but a couple of weeks went by. But to me, as the person that has already paid for them, I just thought to myself, she'll just hang on to them. Like I've literally paid her for them. So she'll just hang on to them until I send her the shipping money. But no, she sold them to someone else. I understand it is my fault for saying that I would give her the shipping money in a couple of days and then not sending it within a couple of days and not telling her that I wasn't going to send it. But also it's her fault for not following up with me and saying, hey, like if you don't send me the shipping money, I'll have to sell them to someone else or something. She could have at least done that. But because she didn't contact me and I didn't contact her, in my mind, it was all just on pause. Like it was just waiting until I gave her the shipping money. So anyway, she blocked me. She refused to give me my money back. So I put a screenshot of her account on my Instagram story and I was like, guys, I paid her for the shoes. And then when I didn't give her the money for the shipping, she sold them to someone else and she's refusing to give me my money back. Luckily for me, like because so many of my followers saw it on my story, they went over to her Depop and they just kept commenting on her pictures and sending her messages saying like, can you please refund Alex's money? Like you've taken Alex's money, please give it back. And originally she was just blocking everyone and deleting the comments and not responding to the messages. But after about an hour or two, she unblocked me and she was like, fine, you can have your money back, fine. She sent me my money back. So that was that. Now, the issue here was that I didn't actually pay her on Depop because she specifically re requested that I pay her outside of Depop, that I send her the money on PayPal and I had to send it to her family and friends. So that probably should have been alarm bells for me that she said I had to do that. When you send something family and friends, you're not covered if something goes wrong. You're just not covered at all. Depop can't help you, PayPal can't help you. So I learned a very valuable lesson that day because if I had just paid through Depop, I could have just contacted Depop and they would have sorted it out for me, but there wasn't that much that they could do. So I'm really lucky that I have a bunch of followers on Instagram that were able to come and help me because I can just imagine like for a person that doesn't have that many people that can come to back them, what would have happened? Like they, they would have just completely lost their money, like almost a hundred dollars just down the drain like that. And there's nothing they could possibly do about it. So my lesson for you guys is don't pay for something outside of the app. If you don't know the person, you haven't bought from them before, don't risk it because people can do dodgy things. Like that was really, really dishonest of her to go selling the shoes to someone else and not telling me that she was going to do that, but mainly refusing to give me my money back. Like she wasn't losing anything. They were just shoes sitting in a cupboard. Like she's not losing anything. So she was literally just taking money for no reason. So don't pay for things outside of Depop or at least don't pay with family and friends if you don't know the person. I kept looking for the shoes for the next couple of weeks and then I finally found them again and I paid for them on Depop. I saw them advertised for $90. I paid the full price and then I paid an extra $17 for shipping. I did all of that just like I was meant to. And then the seller sent me a message and she said, you didn't read my terms and conditions. My terms and conditions said that you have to message me before buying. So you're going to have to send me an extra $10 to cover the PayPal fee and to cover the Depop fee. And I was like, well, what do you mean your terms and conditions? So I like clicked on her page. And then sure enough, one of the pictures of the things that she was selling, so she had a bunch of items listed for sale and one of the items, there was like a picture as an item and it said, my terms, message before buying. And I mean, all I had done, I had just continued to search little twin stars, why are you shoes? I saw them, I clicked on it, they were my size, I hit buy. Like I didn't, I don't know, I, I guess I'm an idiot, am I? For just buying without looking at the person's profile. Like I didn't, I just thought that's all there was to it. I thought that you just saw an item that you wanted and you just pay for it and then they send it to you. Like, but she was like, no, you gotta send me more money because you have to cover the, uh, the Depop fee. And I was like, well, hang on, should you not just list the item to cover the fee in the first place? I don't understand. All I did, I didn't even reply. Like I just took a screenshot of it and I sent it to Depop and I was like, can you just give me some advice? What should I do? Like she's telling me I have to send her more money than what I've already sent her. What should I do? And they replied and they were like, Depop sellers aren't allowed to set their own terms and conditions. We've messaged her and told her that she has to send you the shoes. So she sent them to me. <laughs> so I have here in my possession, the little twin stars shoes. And luckily for me, I somehow managed to find the second pair 
Dan and I drove all the way to Newcastle. It's like two hours from where we live. So we drove all the way up there so I could pick them up from her. So I finally have both pairs here. Okay, she's wrapped them in paper. I'm so, I'm literally shaking. I am so nervous about these shoes. <laughs> oh, and it's got the YRU wrapping paper on it. So that's good, even if it doesn't have the box, I guess. goodness I'm dead I am dead they are in such good condition she's hardly worn them <gasps> wow see this this just goes to show good things come to those that wait I waited it took me a very 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 long time but I finally have them here in my possession they are so so beautiful do you like them what do you think wow they're amazing so that's that pair and they have little twin stars like riding a unicorn oh they're so beautiful the other pair which are the ones that i originally wanted to buy that i saw on instagram and freaked out these are so heavy so they're in a proper box now i didn't open these like i literally opened it slightly like that to make sure they were actually there but i didn't unbox them because i really wanted to do it on camera she look she gave me some free things. She gave me some My Melody stickers and some Hello Kitty pencils. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look, Archie. What do you think? No two, no. Wow. They are so heavy. They're like bricks. They're brand new. She never ever wore them. So she said she was selling them because she never wore them. Like they were just sitting in her wardrobe and she never got any use out of them. So. That's the right shoe and the left shoe. <laughs> I feel like Archie could absolutely chew a hole in these. So there they are. I got there in the end. I finally got the shoes of my dreams. So that is really, really, really exciting. I'm so happy about those. And then there's only one more parcel to open. This is fan mail. I'm so, so excited about this. Look at this. So this is from an Instagram account. <laughs> her account is called Mood Fox, Mood Fox Info. Definitely go check her out. She hand makes little accessories and stuff and she made me an Archie clay necklace. Now she has posted this to me. I think it came all the way from like Slovakia or something. Yeah, this came all the way from Slovakia. I am freaking out. Look, she's put the bird stays on the box and she's drawn a little Archie. Oh, it's so cute. No! The bird goes! The bird goes! I don't care. The bird goes. You know, I was under the impression that she was just sending me the little Archie necklace that she made. But this is a very, very big box. Oh my gosh. Green. Green. Look, Archie, it's green. Oh, she even has her own stickers. Wow. Look at this. Wow, this is so cool. Look, Mood Fox Info. How nice is that? She's got a little sticker done up for her brand. That is so pretty. So Mood Fox Info is her Instagram account. Her name's Victoria. Definitely go check her out. What is this? This is not a necklace. Oh, there's a card. Oh my gosh, I love that it's all green. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my... <laughs> this is so beautiful. Okay, so, hello Alex, my name is Vicky and I'm from Slovakia. Yes, you have a subscriber from the heart of Europe, formerly known as Czechoslovakia. I'm 29, so point for the older people, as Christine would say. I work as an artist, makeup artist, 3D and 2D graphic designer. Yes, I have three jobs. Welcome to Europe. I'm trying to start my own art shop where I started to sell recycled bottles and make lanterns from them with polymer clay or paintings, jewelry, and I also have a lot of other ideas for clothing items. I'm just starting, so my work is not perfect yet, but still, I do hope you love the items that I've sent you. I have also tried YouTube, but I think I'm too shy or boring. I just can't loosen up. Don't say that. Hey, I, I've i removed all of my first videos because I was so shy. I was so boring. But the more that you do it, the more you warm up to the camera and eventually it just becomes like second nature. It's really weird to sit in front of a camera and talk and it's really hard to show your personality. 
It took me a long, long, long time to be able to do what I do now. I would just say keep doing it. Like just, just keep trying. Don't be disheartened. You, you are not boring. I'm. This stuff that you do sounds so interesting, and you must be so passionate about it to be doing it. So if you're passionate about it. You'll eventually loosen up and you'll be able to express yourself. I say just keep keep going with it, absolutely. My favourite YouTubers are Graveyard Girl, Simply Neological, Shane and his Gucci gang, and Tati. Oh my god, we literally love the same YouTubers. I love Graveyard Girl, I've watched her for years. Simply Neological is my queen. Shane, I mean, he's also my queen. I love Shane. I think I've watched every single one of Shane's videos. He is an absolute legend and Shane is the reason that I started doing YouTube. Like, I just, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The Shane's work from the last few years, like with his Gucci gang, like I love all of them. And seeing the way that they all act together really, really inspired me to make videos with Sam. Obviously Garrett is Shane's ex and Sam is my ex. And like, there's so much fun to be had there. And Shane really, really inspired me. I adore that man so much. And Tati. Tati is like the only beauty guru that I'm interested in watching these days because Tati is so honest. Like she's so inspiring. Everything that she does, like she doesn't use affiliate links. She doesn't really do sponsored things or anything. Like everything that she says is so completely genuine and honest. And you know that if Tati recommends something, you can completely, completely trust her recommendation. And she is what I aspire to be like. I want to have that same level of like, I guess you could say what respect from your followers. Like everyone that watches Tati knows that they can trust her. And that's what I aspire to be like two. I want people to know, look at this bird. Stop, take an almond and leave. Leave. I want people to know that they can watch me and trust me and trust my opinions just like people watch Tati and they trust her. So we have the same, we love the same people. I'm so glad that thanks to YouTube we can manage to find people that have similar personalities and interests. It connects people from different countries that inspire us in so many ways. The reason why I love your videos is that you're open about most things. It's like I'm watching a friend that I'm just getting to know better. I know there will be negative people, but don't make them stop you from being you. I seriously don't get some people. Like, I'm afraid of birds, seriously afraid. I run from them, but Archie is so kawaii. By the way, I love Japan and Japanese culture, anime and everything. I want to go there one day. We also have a baby. It's a girl pit bull called Apple. And no, not inspired by the company Apple. We don't even own a single product from them. It was just my brother's idea. A lot of people think pit bulls are dangerous, but it's how you raise them, and they can be the cutest babies. All I want is to thank you for what you do, and maybe I will never meet you, but you do have a friend in Slovakia. Wish you all the luck and happiness. Say hi to Dan and Sam, the <laughs> funny guys. P.S. The, the painting is for you and Dan as an engagement present. <laughs> what? Vicky. Cute. Wow, you are beautiful. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look, this is so cute. Oh, your dog is so adorable. Apple is so gorgeous. You're so beautiful, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you. That was so beautiful. That almost made me cry. Thank you so much. Like, you, you didn't have to send me things. Like, a letter is the most beautiful thing ever. I can see there's some sort of painting here. Oh my gosh, and it's in green wrapping paper. Green for Archie. That is so amazing, look! That is so beautiful, do you see the birds? Wow! Oh my gosh! That is incredible! That is so beautiful! Oh my god, I'm I'm... <sighs> I'm gonna cry, oh my god, I'm <laughs> Look Archie! Look! What's that? Come see. No? Look. Wow. What do you think? Isn't it amazing? Wow. Thank you so much, Vicky. That is so incredibly beautiful. You are such a talented artist. Please guys, please go check out her account and give her some love. That is so amazing. I can't wait to put this up on the wall. That is honestly so, so beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, and there's one more thing back here and I know what this is. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, she has magnets done too. Oh my gosh, look, Mood Fox. These are magnets. They're going on the fridge. They are so cool. And then there's a little box. Ah! Oh, and I'm 
gosh, I'm shaking. This is amazing. Look. Look, it's a little Archie made of polymer clay. That is so beautiful. <gasps> yeah, look, it's you. Look, Archie. Who's that? Someone left a comment on my last video and it was, uh, I want a man that looks at me the way Archie looks at his fan art. <laughs> show our friends look no 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 that is so amazing look how beautiful is that you are so talented wow look at that that's so amazing the attention to detail is so spot on oh my gosh thank you so much Vicky I love it and I think Archie does too bonk 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 Peck, 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 hecking peck, pecking heck. Okay, now I need my hand back so I can put it on. Can you just, goodbye friend. No, no. Goodbye friend, no. Goodbye friend. <laughs> now the only problem here is that I have acrylic nails. I got my acrylic nails put on yesterday. <laughs> okay. Archie, no, heck off, heck off. So beautiful, I love it so much. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria, he is so gorgeous. Well guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Victoria, for the beautiful artwork and for the beautiful Archie necklace. And thank you for uh, wrapping it in green. Archie very much appreciated that. Thank you to Cosmic Brushes for gifting me those beautiful pastel brushes. You may not. No, not for eating. Thank you to NYX Cosmetics Australia for sending me that holographic bundle. I'm really, really excited to test those things out. Thank you Depop for helping me to not get scammed. And thank you to everyone that came to my rescue when that whole saga was unfolding. <laughs> and last but not least, thank you so much to everyone that entered my giveaway. I'm really, really excited to hold another one soon. If I called your name as a winner, don't forget to send me a message. I will try and message you as well. We'll get there. I will somehow figure out how to coordinate all of that. Please don't be disheartened if you didn't win something in this giveaway because I'm planning on doing so many more, particularly because I get gifted a lot of things from companies and I mean, I would love to give it away to some of you guys because there's no reason for me to keep a lot of the things that I'm given. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Mwah! everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. Archie! <laughs> Feeling lazy today, are we? Archie! <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. Archie. Can you try one more time? Try once more. One more time. Do you need me to get almonds for you? Is that it? You need almonds? Do we need almonds to bribe you?